Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and spill some tea. So anyways, a lot of people have been talking about this whole Red Table Talk situation with Jada Pinkett Smith, Willow, Gammy, and of course... Because I'm Snoop Doggy, Doggy, Doggy. Snoop Dogg, okay? So they've been promoting this. Snoop Dogg is now going on a hobo apology deflection tour. Now, he apologized not once on Instagram... But twice. And the second time was a more, you know, heartfelt apology where he stated that his mother checked him. And, you know, he realized at that point that he was wrong. But, of course, that's not good enough. You know what I'm saying? When a person of color, when a black man makes a mistake, they want to see him grovel and beg and plead for mercy, okay? Literally, gangster-ass Snoop Dogg is sitting here at the red tabletop with a damn red turtleneck on, uh, a damn suit jacket, and some chucks. They got this man up there teary-eyed, about to cry. I'm like, this is just so embarrassing. This entire situation is a hot mess, and social media was definitely not here for it. Folks were dragging the red tabletop. People were dragging Jada Pinkett. And most importantly, people were dragging the hell out of Snoop Dogg, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and watch these clips really quick that I posted on Instagram the other day. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. When you first came out and you said what you said, you know, in regards to Gail, my heart dropped. I felt like not only were you talking to Gail, but you were talking to me. Yeah. I was like, oh no, Snoop has now taken his power flow away from me, away from Willow, mm. away from my mother. Mm-mm. Right? I was like, oh, if this is what's happening, I was like, not Snoop. Right. Right? And so that's one of the reasons why I felt like I really wanted to have the conversation with you in the, in the spirit of healing. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. when it's really, yeah, 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 yeah. You were saying no, 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 no. All right, so you guys just saw that. And I just feel like Jada Pinkett, she's trying way too hard to seem deep, to come off as woke. You know, it was just over the top. It wasn't that deep, okay? When he went on his rant, like I said, the part that bothered me the most was the implied threats, Okay. I didn't really care about him cussing her out. I mean, I don't understand why people are so shocked that he called her a funky dog head bitch. Once again, like the guy said in the video, this is Snoop Dogg. I could see, you know, taking this to heart and saying, oh my God, I'm so disappointed. And, you know, when you said that, it took a toll on me and Willow and Gammy. If this was Barack Obama. Or if this was some other guy that we hold on like a, on, a, on a tall pedestal who hadn't been in and out of jail, who didn't come up on the scenes as a gangbanger. This is Snoop Dogg, the same man who basically put in the lexicon that bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. It's like, why is she acting so shocked? She's not even addressing the so-called implied threat. She's talking about his cussing as if that's not what he does as a gangster rapper, as if his reputation has changed so much since the damn 90s, okay? So I thought she was being really really dramatic with that part okay that's for Gail to take to heart but not for me so I thought she was being very very you know she was making it about her making it about her family when it wasn't really that deep let's keep it real the reason why Snoop is there you know looking all teary eyed and upset is because his damn pockets were affected okay let's keep that all the way real this man is literally now on a hobo deflection apology tour because they threatened that show they threatened that bag with Martha Stewart you guys saw all of the Fox News anchor clips that I was posting in my original video. They were trying to come for his bag. In the words of Joe Scarborough, you know, he wants to keep saying, oh, they're disrespecting a black woman. You know, he kept, you know, trying to reiterate that when we know it was way bigger than that. They don't care about Gail being a black woman. They're mad low-key that people are supporting and celebrating Kobe Bryant. And in their eyes, Kobe Bryant is a rapist. He raped a young white girl. And they're not feeling that shit. Let's keep it real. That's what it is at the very base of all of this shit. It's because of that white girl in Colorado and people um, low-key feeling like she didn't get her justice, okay? So now there's another snippet that went viral yesterday of basically Snoop explaining... 
You know, why he was so hurt, why he felt the need to get on camera and tell Gail about herself, okay? You don't come from my homeboy and his wife. Honey, y'all go ahead and watch this clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I wanted to make sure that what I said was said the right way, and I wanted to make sure that the message was across that. We love Kobe, and be respectful of Vanessa and those kids. Yes. That's what the whole intent was. Right. To protect that woman and them babies over there because she's still grieving. Yeah. And let's give them that respect. Right. Honey. All right, so y'all just watched that clip. All I got to say is Gammy's face says it all. She's like, all these people are full of shit, but I'm just here for a damn check, okay? I ain't got nothing else going on. I'm in my 70s. I look damn good. So I'm just here to make faces because Gammy sees through the bullshit. You know, how are you more upset about how somebody else's wife may feel when not even a month before that, Snoop Dogg went viral because Selena Powell put all his business out there, talked shit about his wife, disrespected his wife. He didn't say a peep. He was quiet as a church mouse. You don't have this same energy for your own black queen. You're constantly disrespecting your marriage in public, but you're so upset for Vanessa Bryant. I was so upset. That's my homeboy. Vanessa and the kids need to be protected. Vanessa will be okay, okay? Worry about your own household. Sweep around your porch before you go jumping in the fray. Because, see, the problem is this. As a grown adult, whatever you put out there, you have to be able to stand by. And right now, at this point in time, Snoop looks silly. Because he was, you know, the gangster guy from the LBC and can't nobody tell cuz nothing and cuz is about that life. So many people were, you know, praising him when he went on that rant. Only for him to backtrack with his tail tucked between his legs like a puppy. I mean, this whole situation is embarrassing. Again, this should be a lesson to everyone. Do not write checks that your ass can't cash. If you're going to put something on social media and you can't stand by it, then you had no business putting out there, Okay. One thing I'll say about Boosie, regardless if you agree or disagree with his rant, he ain't taking shit down. He's standing by it, and he said what he said. Just to the word. If you don't like what I said, when you see me, do something. That's all you got to do. We can kill all this shit. If you don't like what I said about this and that, when you see me, do something. That's all. I ain't got to say nothing. There. If you don't like what I said, when you see me, try me. And Snoop would have had that same energy if his money wasn't being affected. So that lets you know that Snoop just be talking. He's very much corporate. He's very much Hollywood. And he's very much about securing his bag. His bag, which you know it should because he has to feed his family, you know, take care of his family and everything else. His bag came first before the so-called woke people that he was speaking for. That's why I take all these Hollywood people, when they go on rants and raves, I take that shit with a grain of salt. Because I'm always like, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Apology tour coming to a town near you, okay? And that's exactly what Snoop Dogg is doing. So this entire situation to me was not needed. Jada Pinkett is doing nothing more but looking for attention, trying to jump on a hot story and get views for Red Table Talk. You know, which is understandable. It's a hot topic. That Hell, that's why I'm doing the video, right? So that's what Jada Pinkett is doing. She's simply here to get views and, and play, you know, pseudo counselor. Somebody says that the Red Table Talk is the equivalent to the principal's office and I definitely get that. That's what it comes off to me because they don't do a show every day hell they don't even do a show every week they only do a show when it's a bunch of controversy concerning high profile black men you know or you know the jordan woods situation with the kardashians so i find that funny so i can't take jada pinka seriously she was trying to be too woke and too deep and it wasn't that serious snoop sitting there teary-eyed and going harder for somebody who's not even his wife to me is just silly but the thing is this man apologized not once but twice and he was still forced to go on a hobo tour. So that just lets you know, you can't be out here just saying whatever, you know what I'm saying, speaking willy-nilly. Because once they come for that corporate bag, you will be backtracking and doing the damn moonwalk like Michael Jackson, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey, with Snoop Dogg going on to the Red Table Talk and basically, you know, getting teary-eyed and speaking on the situation, you know, about Gail King and why he went off on her. How do you guys feel about everything? 
mean, do you feel like Jada Pinkett is doing nothing more than exploiting the situation and she was doing a bit too much? And then how do you feel about Snoop Dogg basically backtrack and, you know, taking everything back? Do you feel like the only reason why he's doing this, like I stated from day one, is because his corporate check was affected? Is because they were getting ready to snatch that damn Martha Stewart show from him, so he had to clean this whole mess up. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up the video. And last but not least, make sure you hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Deuces.